Noah Feldman is a professor of law at Harvard University, a columnist for Bloomberg Opinion and the author, most recently, of To Be a Jew Today, A New Guide to God, Israel, and the Jewish People, from which the following is excerpted. Since the 2023 Hamas-Israel war broke out, almost no subject has garnered more global attention than Israel. For many Jews, both outside and inside Israel, the Gaza conflict feels pivotal. Since October 7, Jews everywhere, whether sympathetic to Israel or critical or some combination, have found they have no choice but to deal with Israel's impact and significance on their lives and feelings, whether they want to or not. This experience calls for a new account of what Israel means for being a Jew today. Excerpted from, To Be a Jew Today, A New Guide to God, Israel, and the Jewish People, by Noah Feldman. Copyright 2024 by Noah Feldman. Reprinted by permission of Farrar, Strauss and Giroux. To avoid oversimplifying would take a whole book. And in fact this essay is drawn from a book about being a Jew today that I've been writing for the past three years and thinking about most of my adult life. In it, I argue that the Jews are like a big, loving, sometimes dysfunctional family, united in their struggle to make sense of their relationship to God, whether he exists or not, and one another. Indeed, what makes the Jewish way of seeing the world distinctive is precisely that love and struggle are inextricably intertwined in it, as they are in most families. This love struggle is the key to understanding what's going on for many Jews today, in the aftermath of October 7. To understand it, you have to go back to what the classical, secular Zionists who dreamed up and first built Israel wanted it to mean. The Zionists wanted the Jews to be a sovereign nation, not a feuding family. For them, a Jewish state was not supposed to be an event in Jewish history. It was supposed to be the end of Jewish history, understood as a tale of suffering in the diaspora. Israel was meant to transcend and replace religious Jewishness and begin a new national era, picking up where Israelite sovereignty had ended at the hands of Rome, 2000 years before. In this way, the original Zionist idea of Israel intended to secularize the old Jewish idea of the Messiah into a modern nationalism disenchanted with outmoded religious faith. The utopian, secular messianic age and the ingathering of the exiles would put an end to the vicissitudes of Jewish survival and suffering that marked God's intermittent reward and punishment of the Jewish people. A secular state would make the world's Jews into an ordinary, normal nation, like France or Italy, not a far-flung people doomed to live as an oppressed, neurotic minority wherever they might wash up. It didn't work out exactly as planned. Over the years, bolstered by military success, economic growth and skillful statecraft, Israel grew increasingly secure, 